So I'm going to kick off our presentation, which is a, a market uh, overview and then uh, outlook for 2018. Very quick look. This is so. This is a review of 2017 and what we uh, what we, we actually achieved. It's very difficult to find any, any anything negative to say about uh, the market at the moment. But going, but we will try and find something. But in terms of the, what I like about the market at the moment, a the market's very strong. But all the indicators that we're seeing from independent resources such as World Bank, PwC, in terms of ease of doing business in terms of global competitiveness the ranking is moving up so vietnam is moving up the ranking step by step and i think that's very important whilst we always talk about the real estate market on the whole i think vietnam is progressing and i think it's progressing uh, relatively well compared to other southeast asian countries <clears throat> some of the big news stories for the year uh, so lots of M&A deals, very, very attractive market for foreign investors now. Lots of foreign investors uh, see it as one of their key markets in Southeast Asia. Uh, the Vietnam stock market, as you all know, is on an absolute tear and it is uh, breaking all records. And a lot of IPOs last year and a lot of state-owned enterprises um, IPOing last year, which again is a positive move for the market. According to PwC, Vietnam and India rank as the most popular uh, developing markets. A couple of other bits of news. Um, exports surging, so that we, what Vietnam is creating is a, is a real manufacturing hub. It's, it's creating itself as a manufacturing hub, so we're seeing the exports really surging. Great news for the manufacturing sector, logistics sector. I mean, what it can, the only negative part is if we see geopolitical issues on a global scale, then this, what we're, you know, Vietnam is, is you know, concentrating on the export sector. So will we see a slowdown in exports if there, there's issues on a global scale? So maybe something to, to look out for. Uh, ANZ selling its retail part of the business to Shinhan Bank. And then uh, the US group First Solar restarting its uh, uh, long delayed um, uh, solar manufacturing plant again, which is, I think is another sign of confidence in the market, investors coming back into the market. That project was hold, on hold for maybe five or six years. <clears throat> In terms of the uh, economic review, you'll know all these numbers already. CPI, good news about the economy, under target for 4%, came in, coming in at 3.5%. International tourists, this is getting lots of attention in the press. So target for the year was originally 11.5, got revised up to 13 million and came in just under that number. Credit growth, actually the, the, the state bank revised the credit growth up to 21%. According to our figures, we achieved about 18% for the year. Maybe uh, Nick, our panelist, might be able to enlighten us on, on why we didn't get to 21%. Uh, VN index, this is the big one. Um, this is for the end of 2017. It's now actually surpassed 1,000 points, as you're probably aware, but up 46% on the year. So if you put your money into the stock market, you could have made a decent buck. GDP growth, one of the highest in the world, s achieved just over 6.8% uh, in 2017. Exchange rate in terms of VND versus the dollar, holding stable, this again giving confidence to the market, uh, about 1.2% um, uh, increase on the year. And a trade surplus, again positive numbers due to that increase in exports, up to trade surplus now $2.7 billion. In terms of FDI, FDI numbers, everyone's talking about it. Lots of foreign investment coming into, uh, into Vietnam. Big jump year on year, up to about 35 billion US in terms of reg registered capital. Important to note, this is just registered capital rather than dispersed capital. We can give you the dispersed capital because that's the actual number that's going into the market. So these are just the headline figures. And the top 
top uh, five sectors, manufacturing getting all the attention, over 80% of FDI going into the manufacturing sector, which really sort of backs up the story of Vietnam becoming a manufacturing hub for Southeast Asia. Some of the big uh, notable M&A transactions or tr investment deals of the year, um, about 1.5 billion, this is according to um, RCA, um, rather than, so we use an independent figure rather than our own figure. A little bit, it's probably more than that, but RCA are a little bit uh, more conservative and don't pick up all the deals. But some of the big deals that happened, Warburg Pincus and uh, Vinny Capital establishing their hospitality uh, platform. Uh, Warburg again establishing a, a, with, uh, a JV platform with Beckhamex and then a number of other sort of quite high profile deals. So active market, lots of transactions in the market. We see on average five to 10 investors a week coming through our office. I mean, there is so much interest in, in Vietnam at the moment. <clears throat> Um, the difficulty and the negative part, the only negative part is there's no stock and very limited opportunities. So a very quick analysis, what we've tried to do, just show you if you put a dollar in, into uh, uh, one of these investments last, last year, what your return would have been, starting from the right, put into the, this is premium apartment, and, and I know some of you guys have probably made 30, 40, 50% on some of your apartments, but this is across the board, and this is just for premium apartments. We say about 6%, six, 6% six um, return. Gold, 4%. Uh, bank deposit, you can get 6.6%. If you put it into the stock market, you would have got 46%. And if you, Bitcoin, anyone invested in Bitcoin? JLL, biggest in, in last year, we, were, we closed the most deals that we've ever closed in Vietnam from an M&A point of view. One of those deals being the CII Hong Kong land deal, which uh, we'll be, I think, launching this year. Big uh, transaction. And uh, uh, we're here, if there's any, any local investors that want to do more deals with foreign investors, come and talk to the team after the presentation, because very active in that market.